Human Action Comics by Lilburn, an exposition of Austrian economics. Issue number three, Marginal Theory of Value. For more works by Lilburn, visit Summa Anthropica at anthropica.blogspot.com. In the last issue of Human Action Comics, Lilburn was beset by Adam Smith, David Ricardo, and Karl Marx, all of whom insisted that the subjective utility theory of value was refuted by the diamond water paradox. Just as Lilburn was about to give up hope for sensible, integrated value theory, Karl Menger, founder of Austrian economics, elegantly strode upon the scene, which is where we pick up our story. Gentlemen, I think I may be able to clear things up. The beard, it is too manly. Marx, we must flee. Rixig. Those steely eyes don't scare me. What say you, Menger? How can value be derived from utility when useless diamonds are valued more than precious water? First of all, Herr Smith, let me thank you on behalf of all economists for your highly important work. A gentleman and a scholar. But I must insist that your analysis of value is not sophisticated enough to truly represent acting man. There is wisdom in that beard. Herr Smith, let's say you own a spring which produces sufficient water for you to use up 1,000 gallons every month. Very well. And let's say I offer you a one carat diamond for 100 gallons of water. Would you make the exchange? Of course I would. I'm no fool. But that disproves your theory. Because water is more useful to me than diamonds, yet I value it lower. Water as a class is more useful than diamonds as a class. But we are not exchanging classes of goods. We are exchanging discrete quantities of goods. 100 gallons of water for one one carat diamond. Now, let's say we didn't make the exchange. How would you otherwise allocate your water if you were to use up 1,000 gallons of water per month? Whoa, Adam Smith is deflating along with his reputation. Well, I suppose I would use 100 gallons for drinking water for my family and guests, 500 gallons for bathing and cleaning, and 300 gallons for watering the plants on my estate. That is 900 gallons. What would you do with the remaining 100 gallons? That is really none of your business. Pardon me? Water games. I have a weakness for water games. You know, slip and slide, crocodile mile and the like. Please don't tell my students. I do not judge you, Herr Smith. Economics is a value-free science. Now, the value of a good is derived from the satisfaction provided by the good. But we need not consider the satisfaction provided to you by water in general, only the satisfaction provided by 100 gallons. So, what satisfaction would you give up if you were to part with 100 gallons of the 1,000 gallons you use monthly. The most important satisfaction, the least important satisfaction, or a satisfaction in between? The least important. I sense the realization dawning. And which satisfaction is the least important to you? Well, I suppose it would have to be the, the, the water games. <laughs> if 
it is the satisfaction or utility or subjective usefulness provided by the water games which you would give up for want of 100 gallons of additional water, then that is what the value of 100 gallons of water is derived from. Now, if you had a one carat diamond, how would you use it? Menger is growing to the size of his real but neglected contribution to economics. I'd have a ring made for mother, of course. Well then, what you're really exchanging is not the class water for the class diamond, nor is it even 100 gallons of water for one diamond. What you're really exchanging is A, the satisfaction provided by a month of slip and slide for B, the satisfaction provided by seeing a beautiful ring adorn your precious mother's hand. His brilliant insight and magnificent beard are overwhelming me. Now I know how attached you are to your mother because I know you lived with her as a middle-aged man. Economics is value-free, no judgments. Economics is value-free, no judgments. So I ask you, which satisfaction or utility is more important? That provided by a month of slip and slide? Wait for it. Or that provided by making your mother smile? Nicely done, my brother. I, I, of course I choose mother over slip and slide. You better see more. I mean, Adam, compared to her gladness, it is the marginal usefulness of 100 gallons of water. That is frippery. Aww. You're right, Menger. Subjective marginal utility theory makes perfect sense. The diamond water paradox is a mirage. Austrians win! Austrians win! What have I done? My value theory led directly to Ricardo's, which led directly to Marxist economics. Damn right it did. Do not trouble yourself with that. Marx would have been bent on reaching the same conclusions regardless, and your work almost single-handedly discredited mercantilism. You should be proud, Herr Smith. So, you guys want to get a beer? Karl Menger, Stanley Jevons, and Leon Volra each independently formulated the marginal utility theory of value, which you have just been introduced to. This development was so epical in economics that it is called the Marginal Revolution. In the next issue of Human Action Comics by Lilburn, Capital Theory. Please visit anthropica.blogspot.com for updates. For more on the topics covered in this issue, visit Summa Anthropica, click on Reading Lists, and then select Value Theory.